Let me take you back to summer of 2022, bro. I was training hard on my weighted pull-ups and I saw progress almost from week to week. The numbers were going steadily up and I was proficient both on the pronated grip, the supinated grip, neutral grip, all the variations you could think of, weighted pull-ups were going smooth. But I had this nagging feeling in the back of my mind that I wanted to get off the one arm pull-up at some point. I'd always been good at pulling strength and one arm pull-up is just the pinnacle of pulling performance. I mean to be able to do a pull-up or a high pull-up or a muscle-up, these things are all absolutely awesome. But to do a one arm pull up, I mean just you lose one of your arms or your arm breaks off or whatever happens, like you can't use one of your arms and you're still able to do a pull up, that is absolutely savage. So I figured I wanted to get into this sooner rather than later and I mean if I want to unlock this skill at some point I'm going to have to start to train for it, right? But at the same time I'm doing well in my weighted pull up training, I don't really want to halt the progress there, I don't really want to stop so it's a bit of a dilemma. I go a bit back and forth though but eventually I sit down and say okay, I'm going to try this and we'll see where it goes and so I start the one arm pull up training. Fast forward to today and now I unlock my first ever one arm chin up rep though, technically over a year ago and I've been training for it ever since. So yeah there were definitely ups and downs during the one arm pull up training but I felt as though I was learning a lot about it and at this point I felt as though I really have a good understanding about how to train for this move. And in 2023, summer of 2023, pretty much a year after I'd started my one arm pull up journey, I tested my weighted pull ups well, my max weighted pull up, and the number was actually pretty decent. Like it, it been improved a little bit since uh, since I started the one up pull up journey and hadn't really touched weighted pull ups at all. And I mean, it's kind of cool. You, you'd, you'd assume that a guy that can do a one up pull up is able to do heavy weighted pull ups, but on the flip side, it's not really the same thing, right? To teach your body to pull with a single arm, it's an entirely different skill on its own. So it was cool to see that at least had at least maintained. That was what I was hoping for. But to see it also improve a little bit was absolutely awesome. Then fast forward to September of 2023, I managed to pop my elbow in a, a Jiu Jitsu sparring match and I had a few other roadblocks that led to a good couple of weeks where I couldn't really train that much, so I sort of lost my one arm pull up. I mean, not a biggie, it doesn't really take much to regain after a minor little inconvenience like that. I mean, I say minor inconvenience, but it wasn't really a big issue and it didn't take long for me to come back. But during that time, I had some time to think about weighted pull ups in relation to one arm pull up. And um, I asked myself if it was possible to do weighted pull-up training alongside one-arm pull-up training and I think I've come up with a pretty good answer. So if you're sat there and you're killing your weighted pull-ups lately, you're doing really well and you want to keep going at it, but you also want to unlock the one-arm pull-up at some point, fear not, because I do believe it's possible to do one-arm pull-up training and weighted pull-ups at the same time without halting the weighted pull-ups if you're clever about it. Now in this video I'll cover a few training systems for how to combine skills training and strength training within calisthenics, so I'll get to that later on. But first and foremost, my name is Jacob and on this channel I cover calisthenics, climbing, functional training and much more. And I'm interested in building a community where people are interested in functional performance and elite skills. So if that sounds good and if you like what you're seeing right now, consider subscribing down below and clicking the bell icon so you get notified every time I publish a video. With that said though, let's get into the main gist of this video, which is how you can combine weighted pull-up and one-arm pull-up training. Firstly, the one-arm pull-up has two components to it to consider. A strength aspect and a movement aspect, or the skill aspect, I suppose. Knowing how to actually execute the movement and have an intimate understanding of that subconsciously speaking. And in calisthenics, we try to link skills and strength training because, I mean, we can't really train six hours every day unless we're professional athletes, all of us. So we try to make these work in parallel. For skills training, what we really want to focus on is frequency as opposed to volume. As in frequency is a bigger thing than volume. And a good amount to get in each week is like two to three different sessions of a particular skill. Two sessions would really be a minimum if you're trying to learn a new skill. But here also it's an important thing to keep in mind that it differs based on the skill you're learning. If you're learning the handstand, you can do it a lot more frequently and do a lot more volume overall than if you're training for the one arm pull up. Because the one arm pull up is a lot more intense, right? It, it leads to a lot more fatigue. Then in order to build strength, you want to have high quality, intense sets, but you don't want to have too much overall volume. And this is important because if you have too much volume at too high intensity, this will lead to over time or even a bit more rapidly to CNS fatigue. And this is basically in addition to like your muscles fatiguing, you know, muscular fatigue when you're lifting a lot and doing a lot of training output. CNS fatigue would be your nervous system being fatigued. 
and that can take several days or even weeks to recover from depending on how severe it is. I mean for an extreme example, when Eddie Hall lifted like 500 kilos, he wasn't quite the same for a good couple of weeks afterwards because his nervous system had to like reset him a little bit, it took some time to, to get back to basics so to speak. So that's also something to keep in mind. Right, with these two factors, the skills training and the strength training, it's a bit of a sort of an equation to be balanced, right? Because you want to train not too much in terms of volume to lead to a lot of fatigue, like muscular or CNS fatigue, right? If you do too much of that, it will be difficult to progress. But at the same time, you want to get in a lot of different sessions, at least two, three sessions uh, per week for your training, right? And then combine that with like law of specificity. If you want to be good at one arm pull ups, you need to train for the one arm pull up. If you want to be good at weighted pull ups, you need to be you need to be training weighted pull ups, right? So we need to balance this a little bit and find a sort of middle ground for where you're progressing with both weighted pull ups and the one arm pull up, without completely overtraining and fatiguing to the point where you make zero gains pretty much in both disciplines. So this is how I believe it can be done. So when you're starting to train for the one arm pull up. When you're in your early training stages, that means you're doing one arm hangs, you're doing one arm scapular pull ups, you're doing shrugs, you're doing some assisted isometrics, you're doing some band assisted reps, some heavy pulley assisted reps, all of these variations. During this stage, if anything, I would actually recommend that you keep on doing weighted pull ups. If anything, if I could go back in time and completely like alter up my own training, if I could coach myself from the beginning, I would have said to myself, just keep going with the weighted pull ups at the same time as I'm getting into this fundamental unilateral strength training because here's the deal like once you're getting into this sure it might be quite new for some and you know that's a new added stressor or stimulus to the body but it's also not really that demanding sure like you, you want to push yourself but at the same time as you're doing this in early stages of your training you can absolutely be doing some weighted pull-ups as well it's more so an issue once you get into the later training stages so as, as long as you're able to keep it up and it's not really that taxing, I would say keep it up because the more raw strength you have, the better. I mean, pretty much always more strength is a better thing. As lot like all else being equal, obviously, if, you, if more strength leads to you having shit form and shit technique, for example, in climbing, if you're super strong and you're just campusing every route and you can't use a foothold for shit, right? Like you're not able to do any of the more technical things. If it's keeping you back on that front, it's not really a good thing at all, right? But as long as that isn't the case, more strength, always welcomed, right? It's more so when you get to the later training stages. So you're doing um, lots of isometrics, you're doing lots of negatives, you're spending your time working on like the lockout, doing a lot of reps around there, different partial ranges, working on the uh, specifically on the initiation. Like when you're doing a lot of that work and you've come into like advanced stages where there is a lot of, I guess, stress on your body through just one arm pull up training, here I would at least lower the volume of weighted pull ups if you're doing them at all. I mean, depending on where you are towards this later part of your journey, you might believe it or not be a couple of weeks away from from achieving the one arm pull up. And so it's a matter of just slightly tweaking that training program, lowering the volume of, of the weighted pull ups, or just completely removing them, and then just getting to the finish, finish line, unlocking those weighted uh, weighted pull ups, I said, the, the one arm pull up, and then you can tune in the, uh, the weighted pull ups back again, depending on what your next goals are. Because this way, you end up training weighted pull ups for a majority of your training time, and sure, maybe it takes a slight hit, but you'll soon get reset, like your body get used to having some one arm pull up training in there and doing the weighted pull ups and and you'll keep on progressing. But yeah, maybe a couple of weeks, two to four weeks, maybe a month and a half of, of weighted pull up training towards the end, end of your training. But if you're one of those that don't really notice too much fatigue or you're not really taking in too much of the uh, the added damage from, from the one armers, then I mean, you could keep going weighted pull ups all the way. I'd feel it out, but I'd be aware of towards the later stages, it is a wise thing to consider like dropping the weighted pull up volume. But yeah, people are different. Who knows? Maybe you don't need to. Maybe you don't need to drop it. Maybe you'll add a couple of kilos on the way to pull up as you're as you're reaching the finish line with the one up pull up. Who knows? Then more specifically, when it comes to session by session, how would you actually structure this in terms of weighted pull ups and one up pull up? Now, generally speaking, with strength training combined with skills training, you want to. I mean, there are four main systems, right? You can either do on the same day on the same session. You do first skills training, then you do your strength training. Or you can do same day, you have first a session in the morning, for example, where you do uh, skills work, and then in the afternoon, evening, you do strength work. Or you can have separate, day for, separate days for skills, 
and separate days for strength. And lastly, you could also do just a greasing the groove approach. So every time you every time you walk past the door frame where you have a pull-up bar mounted, you do some isometrics, you do some one-arm hangs, you do some weighted pull-ups, depending on how you set it up. But I find quite quite a few of these to be a bit chaotic and to lead to maybe too much volume in some in, in some ways. I personally like the um, the first method, just like have everything in one session. But important that you start off with skills work and then do your strength training at the end. So begin with your one-arm pull-up stuff and then add the weighted pull-ups towards the end. This way you can train the skills and do it properly whilst you're fresh. And then whatever's left of you, quite a bit though to be fair, during the um, the early stages of your training you can do the, the weighted pull-ups. And just that this is emphasised properly, you want to start with skills then do strength in case that wasn't really clear regardless of the system you choose if you have a session in the morning session in the afternoon if you do one day for this one day for that relative to when you're resting you want to start with with um, with skills and then go on to strength so simple as that weighted pull-ups pretty much along the entire journey but have the volume be pretty similar to what it otherwise be in the early part of your training and then when you go to, to close that distance and you're really training intensely for the one armor, there's a lot of load in terms of negatives and ISOs and all of this, then you might need to lower the volume on unweighted pull-ups a little bit or perhaps even halt them. But if that's for four to six weeks, it's a lot better than if it's for half a year or three quarters of a year or a full year when you're going for the one arm pull-up just like that. Thanks for watching the video. If you like what you saw, feel free to click the like button down below and also comment down below if you have anything you want to ask me. If you have a video idea you want to see in the future or anything along those lines i'd be happy to hear it and without further ado thanks for watching and as always remember to keep on training train what you love and i'll see you in the next one happy new year guys